Okay, so we have a DV9000 here that was sent into us. So what we're going to do is turn this on, and we'll see what happens. Uh, most likely, we're not going to get any video, but we'll just wait for it to start up. And see. So we saw the back audio gauge there. It seemed to uh, kind of do a reflective there but we see nothing on the screen. We can actually see that the uh, backlight has caused the inverter. The inverter has turned the backlight on and everything seems to be trying to turn on. But we see that this is an Intel model. Blue lights are on. Uh, we shouldn't see power cycling out of it. We see no hard drive activity. We push the enter key. Well, actually now we do. So we're seeing a, we're seeing the hard drive. Hmm. Interesting enough, what we need to do is take and hook an external monitor up to that and see what we find. So, so we see that it's power cycled on. We'll continue to let this do what it's going to do. And it appears that the Hard drive was running just a moment ago. When we push the uh, CD drive out, we see no CDs in there. But when we press the enter key, we have the uh, hard drive light go. We'll continue to let this start up and we'll see we have a blue light there so we know that it's going into an operating system we know that everything seems to be booting up but we're not seeing anything on the screen so we're actually seeing the hard drive run and we're actually seeing a blue light and we hear it going into the operating system so this is a pretty good sign that we have a screen or uh, video cable issue. Uh, we could have a video chipset, but I highly doubt that, seeing as everything is starting up. I can hook it up to an external monitor and see what we get. Um, but most likely, we're not going to see an issue with that. So what we'll do now is uh, go find an external monitor and hook it up and see what we find.